Hello, eSpark friends. This is Michelle here, your favorite eSparker. Today, let's learn how to organize and understand data. What is data? Data is just facts and numbers collected all together for somebody to understand. Data is awesome because it's all around us. Collecting data helps us answer questions like, how many blue pencils are in this jar? Or how many black puppies are in this litter? Here is a picture of some of the stickers I have in my collection. Can you collect the data? Count how many dots I have of each color. I have one blue sticker, four red stickers, and three green stickers. So what is so cool about data? Data helps you answer questions using numbers and facts. Step one is organizing the data. Let's organize the data from my sticker collection. Let's start with the green stickers. I'll put them all in one line so that they're easy to count. Now let's organize our red stickers. We can line them right up next to our green stickers. Last, let's organize our blue sticker. Let's put it in line with the rest of the dots. After we organize our data and put it in a chart, we have to read it. When our data is in a chart, it makes it easy to answer questions like this. What color dots do I have the most of? I have the most red dots. From my chart, can you figure out how many green dots I have? I have three green stickers. From my chart, can you tell what color sticker I have the least of? Blue. Looking at all of our data in a chart helps us answer all of these questions about the numbers we're dealing with. Now let's organize this data. I polled all of my friends to see what kind of dessert they like best. I like cookies the best. Athena and Xavier also really like cookies. And Elliot's favorite dessert is cupcakes. So first, let's count the data. One, two, three people like cookies the most and one person likes cupcakes the most. I organized my data so that I could tell that three people like cookies the most and one person likes cupcakes the most. Now someone can look at this chart to answer the question, what dessert do more of my friends prefer? So, can you tell me? What dessert do more of my friends prefer? Cookies! How can you tell? Well, in my line of cookies, there are three pictures. And in my line of cupcakes, there's only one picture. Can you tell me how many of my friends say that cupcakes are their favorite dessert? Only one. I can tell this because there's only one picture of a cupcake on my chart. I love learning about data. I want to ask my friends one more question. I asked eight friends which meal of the day they prefer the best, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And these are the results that I got. Can you tell how many of my friends like breakfast the most? Six. How do I know? Well, this chart is colored up to the six with blue boxes. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, and six, six blue boxes. Can you use this chart to find out how many of my friends like lunch the most? None. In the column for lunch, no boxes are filled in. Okay, and here's the last question. How can you tell from this graph that only two people say that dinner is their favorite meal? There are only two orange boxes in the dinner column. Well, friends, I hope you had fun with me today organizing data and understanding data in a graph. 